but w another way to describe this heat wave, it is extreme. And let's bring in our extreme weather specialist, meteorologist Chris Higgins in the Woods Basement System Storm Hunter to talk a little bit more about the historic nature of this. Chris. Yeah, Glenn, when we start using words like historic and even unprecedented in terms of weather events, it's really important to give some historical perspective. Look back in history to see how the numbers shake out. And that's why we're here at the National Weather Service where they have been looking at those numbers all day long, really for the past couple of days. Take a look inside today as they were doing the hard work of crunching the numbers. Weather Service meteorologists doing that, crunching the numbers left and right to help put the extremeness of this weather pattern into perspective for us. This heat wave is not the longest. It's not even close to being one of the hottest, but it may be one of the most uncomfortable and most dangerous in terms of that combination of heat and humidity. The heat wave of 1980, which claimed more than 150 lives, and the heat wave of 1995 that holds the record for top heat index at 120 are the closest matches by the numbers, but not, oddly enough, the extreme summer of 2012. That was a whole different kind of beast. This is definitely different. So one part about 2012 is we were in a drought. We were very dry, um, and that was a much drier heat. Our temperatures were quite a bit higher than they are what we're seeing right now, but our uh, heat indexes were not nearly what we're seeing right now. Um, and so it's definitely a very different sit setup than what we have right now. In fact, the heat index at times was lower than the air temperature in 2012. That's how dry it was. Now, here are some other eye-popping numbers. The Weather Service starting tracking dew point temperatures back in 1946. Since then, we've had 7,076 days of summer. Only 15 of those summer days have had heat index values of 115 or higher. If the forecast is correct, we'll end up with at least five consecutive days of 115 degree heat index values or higher. That would be the second most on record. And finally, we've already hit it three consecutive days of 80 degree dew points. That's never happened before. That is the most on record. Now looking forward, I know it's three days out, but like Glenn said, there is sign of relief. The proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. Just have to wait three days for that and wait for Glenn's forecast. I think those are numbers you're going to like. Reporting live with the Woods Basement System Storm Runner, I'm Extreme Weather Specialist Chris Higgins.